Hello everyone, I'm your host Aaron with Grizzly Wood Services and on today's episode of It's Too Hot and I'm Too Fat we're going to do a little bit of chain maintenance. Alright boys and girls, we're back real quick for uh, something a little different that uh, some of you guys may be less aware of or have not really encountered. So, 99% of the people out there probably using chainsaws typically use cross-cut uh, chain. That's what you generally uh, sharpen at 30 degrees and 60 or 55 degrees respectively, uh, whether you're hand filing or uh, mechanical filing like I'm doing here. Um, what's different is milling chain. Milling chain, rather than being at your 30 degree, I'm sorry, 30 degrees here, you actually grind at 10 degrees. And if you look at these two chains, if I can get it to focus, hang on. Here's a better comparison right there. The one on the left is steel, full chisel, uh, cross cut. The one on the left is a Holtzforma milling chain. And that is semi chisel cut at 10 degrees. Another difference, look at the side here. A complete lack of oil holes, oil ports, oil carrying mechanism because these are designed to be laid on their side while cutting versus <clears throat> upright where it's you know draining oil from the top and the bottom. <clears throat> um, that's one place that you'll notice a difference. Now, why am I mentioning this? Because of the difference in the angles the milling chain is much more durable in the dirt uh, versus the cross cut uh, uh, chain. The cross cut chain cuts fast, cuts easy, but you know you nick something, you get it in the dirt, and it dulls out real fast. And that's just due to the angles. Um, the cross, the milling chain cuts slower, but is a more durable chain. And um, I gave some to Scotty to test out and say, hey, will this work better for you? And he's telling me that he, you know, he's getting five, six, sometimes seven stumps out of one milling chain versus two or three on the cross cut. Um, so I've cut one of the milling chains using cross cut angles to see if it's a difference in the actual strength of the chain itself or if it is actually the angle that the tooth is cut at. I suspect it's just the angle that the tooth is cut at, um, just based on the wear that I'm seeing one versus the other. But I'm about to uh, grind down this milling chain, so I'll uh, throw a little bit of that in there too. Now just in terms of dirt, this milling chain is far dirtier than the others. It's got a lot more wear on, it's had a lot more use but the teeth had significantly less wear on the cutting edge itself. So, might be uh, something to consider for those of you that do uh, stump grinding or occasionally get into it. You know, just pick up a couple milling chains for when you're actually uh, flush cutting a stump. 